we absolutely love about Harvest Hosts is unique sites like this one, the Kindred Kitten Rescue. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of kitties. And the Kindred Kitten Rescue is in the Jacksonville, Florida area. And it's a highly recommended stop if you're ever here. So you're just starting to tell us about the rescue. Yeah, we, we've been operating a little over two years and we're from Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. We uh, lived in a HOA community and started the rescue. The HOA found out about it. We got a violation letter saying they were gonna fine us a hundred to five hundred dollars a day until we ceased operations and so we just decided we're leaving mm -hmm. and so florida and actually rose to the top uh, it was either florida or texas but uh since she's from here panama city florida okay we started looking and i'd been watching this place for uh, a couple months just taking a look because i knew that florida was the place we were going to go and I said, uh, I don't mind going to Florida, but I want to be out of the Hurricane Alley if I can help it at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jacksonville actually is pretty good for uh, not being hit. We sold the house in three days. We moved in 10 days. We bought our own RV mm -hmm. and uh, we moved out here with our then six cats. We knew that we couldn't stay at a motel or hotel with six cats, so that's why we bought that. Mm -hmm. And we came out here. Um, and this on the second day we found this place and walked around and I, and I fell in love with it immediately. I retired uh, the 1st of July of 22 and flew out here and was working on the Airbnb part for four months before we opened it up, mm -hmm. started taking preservations and all is good. It's uh, we got seven and a half acres. We got right now about uh, 17, 18, feral cats that live outside and they come and visit us in the morning at about uh, 7, 7.30, maybe 8 o'clock uh, for the morning breakfast mm -hmm. and then from about uh, 5.30 to 6.30 in the evening for the evening meal. A couple months back, my wife said we were going through 22 cans of food a day. Thanksgiving this past year. Wow. So this can hold three couples or uh, well, yeah, kids? My wife is saying it's uh, six to eight people because you got the bed there and you got these two beds. Yeah. The chairs actually fold down into single cots. Oh, yes. And then I'm, kids. I'm adding on a bathroom here mm -hmm. through the pocket door. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Very 
very you did an you. awesome job. Oh, I'm glad we got here. Early very nice. For them to be able yeah, to see I, it. This, uh, it took me four months to do all of this. That's the, you, um, that's a lot. You accomplished a lot. Yes, big wow. time. And then this whole area would a great place to hang out with friends and family. Last year was our first year with Airbnb, and we we did fifteen thousand last year. So in our first year, that's awesome. So that's yeah. not too too bad. And I didn't price it. It's one fifty a night. It could be so much more. Yeah. And everybody says that too. Right. They're like, look, we don't yeah. want you to raise the prices, but it could be <laughs> so much more. Yeah, the business side so of me is like, I'd rather 150 for kitties than nothing for kitties, right? right? So you gotta be smart. And then and then once we got done with that, that wasn't enough. Then I wanted that expansion because I have to compete. I have to compete with families. Yeah. I have to. Families would love to come here and enjoy this, you know? So, uh, so Marvin went back to work on the expansion and the expansion, I just had a vision for it. And, and I, everything you see in there, it's just me going through thousands upon thousands of things to the smallest of detail. Yeah. And then once I found that mural, I was like, that's it, we're done, we're good. And then, he and I put it up together and that was a hot mess. But anyways, it's done, it worked out well. And then the bathroom is gonna be just incredible and we're super excited about that. host has been so kind to us that just incredibly good to us and people seem to really love it but they also love our parfaits i think they just come for the parfaits <laughs> if you see all of the reviews they're just like those parfaits i, I haven't said anything oh my gosh so so how that came about was um i had to uh i just wanted something to give back because people have been so generous and I remember when he and I were making the road trips, you know, when we go on road trips, it's always not the best food you're eating, right? So I was like, what better way to start people's day than a Greek yogurt topped with blueberries and bananas and a wonderful granola and then drizzled with a raw honey. Oh, yeah. And that's the way our, our guests start the day. <laughs> and they, they, they keep coming back for so more. So. Yes. <laughs> it has to be the parfaits. It can't be the kitties or anything else. It has to be the parfaits. <laughs> He's just like looking around like yeah. this whole big world. I don't want to be back out here again. I'm sure that sound is too scary. No. Oh. Look happen. at this. Look at this little toe beans. <laughs> I had the cutest toe beans ever. <laughs> he is a cutie man. Yeah, but these babies, they just had a rough time. And, you know, yeah. we're, we're socializing the brother and sister and 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 then they'll be up for adoption but for right now we're just taking so, good care of them and this is a, this loving is on them mm, oh, i love you punkies oh she my god her siamese and her yeah <laughs> Thank you.
we got our cat fix. <laughs> 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 we don't have our kitty anymore. We had to rehome her when we went to traveling full time. And so we miss her, um, but she's super happy where she is and her new owners are wonderful with her. Yes. But we got to cuddle cats here and um, even a little kitten. Little kitten. And yeah. I've been sneezing a lot more, but you know, it's worth it. <laughs> well, Michelle's, Michelle's put up with me. I've been a cat lover for decades. And when we met a little over 30 years ago, I had two cats and Michelle is allergic. <laughs> and so <laughs> I feel very honored that she put up with the cats um, to be with me. I kind of love the cats too. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.